Now to the new details and new clues we mentioned now emerging in that Florida skydiving tragedy. A veteran instructor struggling to save his student in midair, their chutes not opening, and then a dramatic 911 call. ABC's Steve Osinsami has that story for us. 911, what's your emergency? On the ground where they'd been waiting for the two skydivers for more than an hour, this was the call for help. I have two missing a Florida medical examiner says they landed hard. The experienced instructor and his younger student, both vacationing from Iceland, died from injuries after falling more than 13,000 feet Saturday. This morning, police are holding on to video recorded on one of their helmets. The sheriff says it's hard to watch. I, got, I was called out that night and I was out on the scene where the bodies were recovered. Seeing what transpired prior to was very difficult. Investigators say the two jumped separately, and after watching that video, they now firmly believe that 41-year-old instructor Orvar Arnerson was desperately trying to save the life of 25-year-old Andromar Portarson. He was uh, attempting to stabilize the student and to reach for the student's ripcord. He was a hero. He died a hero. All this happening while they're falling at 120 miles an hour, trying to open his student's parachute before opening his own. Their backup chutes did open, but not in time. Now the FAA is investigating. Arnerson, the instructor, was an experienced jumper. On his personal web pages, he posted videos of his perfect landings. The man who gave his own life to save another. For Good Morning America, Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.